Okay. When I open this file, there's something, a couple of things I noticed about it. I'm going to do a cross section through here. You got uh, the ceiling's coffered right here. I don't know if you intended to do that, but that's a coffer in the ceiling. Seems kind of unnecessary. Not even sure how, quite how you pull that off. But also, the cross section this way, the ceiling's coffered over here. Again, kind of unnecessary. I don't know what you're doing. You didn't say what you're doing, except that you asked for some advice. So there's, so my my advice is to just look at things, see what you did here in this wall directive on the roof tab. I don't know how you got six and three eighths, twelve to, to build there, since you got it set to eight twelve. You must have done that, uh, and <clears throat> the. Uh, Baseline is low. That's the reason the coffers, the ceiling is coffering. Let's see, and this baseline here, <clears throat> if you don't know what a baseline is, that's this dashed line here with the uh, perpendicular on it. That's the baseline. That's the pitch indicator. And this should be over here, not where it is. And that's why the ceiling's coffered. So, if I were you, it looks like it's all auto generated, and uh, for some reason it didn't auto generate properly so my think on it <clears throat> is just rebuild roofs let the software do what it does go over here to the build roof dialog I'm going to check it for any settings we'll go to build roof build roof automatic bird's mouth cut that's okay same roof height at exterior walls allow low roof plans Nothing particularly wrong with any of those settings there. Let's just uh, put it on auto rebuild roofs and build roof planes and see what it does. We'll go back up to, see now there's no coffering of the ceiling here or here like there was before. And you got a nice clean, well, okay, I spoke too soon. Get rid of that stupid looking thing there and delete that. I don't know why it's there, but those don't make any sense. It must be just left over from uh, stuff you did before. Okay, there's some little. Fun oh, I see. That's kind of this area is kind of goofy, but the original things that were goofy, I, or I thought were goofy, are now gone. But now we get more goofiness here. I'm going to look at check these room dialog boxes here and see why it's building it this way. Okay, that's on the first floor. It's over in this area here. Let's see what the it says. Uh, ceilings 10758. That's an out of the box default. Let's see what this says. Same. Ah. See how the roofs are kind of funny over this closet? There's probably a funny setting in the room dialog. Yeah, it's different. Let's put it to default. Which, and then we'll automatically rebuild roofs again. See if it doesn't clean all that up. Yeah, that looks cleaner already. Let's take a look. Yeah, your de default uh, settings, That's maybe this isn't the roof that you want, but this makes more sense than what you, you posted. And, of course, I don't know where you want your windows and so forth, so I, maybe this, maybe this goose, goose you up and the way you had it actually solves some problems that I'm not, I'm not, I don't understand. But this roof makes a little bit more sense based, and the roof system is always based on how you design the floor plan. So if you don't like the roof, you either got to change uh, manually some of the roof pitches and, 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 and whatnot, or you change the design of the floor plan because that's what determines the uh, roof. But that's what I'd recommend, just simple it, simple it up. Uh, this situation you had over here was just unnecessary. The software is pretty good at figuring out straightforward uh, 3D ge geometrical solutions. And uh, in most cases, I let the software just run and like if I wanted some windows along in here, well, I'd have to lower the pitch on this roof plane, wouldn't I? So you just kind of lose your, lose your common sense. Use your common sense 
and use the tools that are built in to achieve. That's my my uh, advice. And watch your settings. Uh, settings that are that make sure your default settings are correct, and then when things are, are not working properly, look for places where the the settings are not as you thought they were. Okay, thank you. End of tutorial.